Hi, it's Jerry Go from Gill Plumbing and Heating in Bedford, Ohio again, and today, right now, we're going to talk about the Hoffman 75 main steam air vent. And I have one, this is what you're going to see up in the system. It's just going to be this green um, air vent. And today, they probably saved themselves a penny because they don't paint it. And today it will look more like copper, but it'll have the same shape. Now, this air vent works on a thermostatic capsule principle uh, with a volatile liquid. And <clears throat> the way this works, take this one where I cut part of it off, you have a cylinder. And in this cylinder is a volatile liquid. Generally it's alcohol and a little bit of water mixture. And you can see up at the top there's a ball. And a, and a socket for the ball to go into. Now, I did. I took this one apart to make it actually easier to see the little ball. Of course, went flying somewhere <laughs> once I took it apart. But in this capsule is the volatile liquid. Now, what happens? You can almost see a concave shape. I don't know if we can catch that in the video to the bottom. And when the steam gets to it, it flashes the volatile liquid into vapor, which expands, and pushes the bottom out. It dimples it the opposite direction, kind of like how a pickle jar, when you open it up and, and the lid pops. And when it does, it drives itself off this diffuser plate, and it, and it would pop it up. Okay, as the dimple pops down, it, it pushes this capsule up. And when the capsule pushes up, it drives the ball up into the socket and shuts off the air vent. Now, this is also, this air, this capsule is free to float. So it is a float air vent. You can see it. We're talking movement that's not very much. That, that's the extent of your movement. You know, what is that? Sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch tops? And... Uh, so, in theory, the float will go up and shut off the air vent if the system floods with water. We know from practice that air vents tend to still spit water out when the system's flooded, but that is what it is. Um, now, how this works is the air gets driven out and goes around this diffuser plate, goes around the cylinder, and exits out the top of the air vent. And you can see how the holes, it's really deceiving how they do these air vents. This is not the size of hole that dictates the amount of air that can get out of this air vent. You look at that hole and say, well, that's got to be a great venting vent. No, this vent is not a great venting vent. It does, it's vents very poor, actually. It's well made, but it doesn't move very many cubic feet per minute. Because the amount of gap between the ball and the socket is the dictating point of how much air can get out of this thing. So it's well made, but it just doesn't vent very much cubic feet per minute. And again, it uses a different type of principle than the Gorton, which was a bimetal. This one uses a capsule that has a volatile liquid in it and vaporizes and expands. And that is the Hoffman 75 main steam vent. 